Good morning, farmyard friends. Um, today we are going to be doing a farm tour and going over varieties and things like that on my farm. Not next week, but the week after we're going to be doing, or Reagan's going to be doing a farm tour. So be looking forward to that because that, I know that's going to be, mine is going to be impressive at, le at most, but hers is spectacular. So be there for that. But, and this is a mess right now, I have not had a chance to be here a lot. I have been helping family members and everything else, but that's not really that important. But a lot, nothing has gotten done, but <laughs> let me show you guys some things. These are potatoes. Um, they're not doing the greatest, as you can see. They look fairly bad. Reagan told me it was blight, which I 100% agree with, after doing some more research, but it does look like they're coming back. It looks like they are, I couldn't tell where you guys were, but they are putting out some more things, so I was going to tear them out. I don't think I am anymore. They are doing really well. These are the first round of potatoes that I planted, and these are the... Either Russet Red or Yukon Gold. Um, one of the two. But they do, they're looking a little bit better. Now, Blight. From reading up, there's nothing that you can really do. You can either tear out the plants or this is correcting itself. You can do that. But, I don't know. Don't quote me on that. Do your own research. And we'll probably do a video on plant health sooner or later. We need to figure that out uh, at some point. But... Yes. <laughs> the, are the, well, this bed was supposed to be corn. I have not planted it yet because I needed this dirt for something. So it's been on the back burner, but I need to get it done this week. Same with this one. It's been on the back burner. But when I plant it, it's going to be Silver Queen corn, and I'm going to do a whole video on that. But these are strawberry plants. I don't think there's any strawberries right now. Maybe one or two that still need to do, but... We got a bunch of strawberries and then they all just kind of petered out and they're starting to sh send out more runners, which is good. So we could get another harvest this year, kind of hoping so, because that would be really cool. And they're really, <laughs> the strawberries are really good, but uh, those are ever bearing strawberries and the corn is going to be Silver Queen hybrid. It's not a... Um, your silver queen i can't find the seeds anywhere so if anybody knows where i can find those seeds please put it in the comments and i will be sure to get some because my great grandmother loves them and it's also just really good and i eat it raw just right off the cot just right off the stock munch on it so delicious um this is my <laughs> trellis it's not looking very good the trellis is not up to where it needs to be because yeah things have happened and it broke last year because of the weight not broke it bent because of the weight and i just need to fix it i just haven't done it yet so but nothing's up to that point oh it's almost there okay i need to do this <laughs> but these are the sunflowers that we planted and everything needs to be weeded i know sunflowers i planted some zinnias down there in between weeds. Uh, another sunflower right here. Squash or zucchini, one of the two. I can't remember which one I planted there. Um, nasturtiums are right there. And more squash and zinnias and things like that. This, is, this could even be a cucumber. I have no clue. I hope not. No, I think it's squash still. But those are doing very well. This plant, we actually have some fruitage, some fruiting. So that's going to be really fun. We're going to be dehydrate some and do all the things with them. I'm underneath it because it's broke. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to be able to dehydrate them and save them. And we are going to be doing videos on a whole bunch of stuff like that, canning and things like that. Maybe not showing the full, full process, but giving a rundown of the process in general. This other bed, uh, a sunflower, 
more squash <laughs> uh, or zucchini, one of the two. Nasturtiums are in here, more nasturtiums, probably a zinnia in here as well. And let me get out of this trellis. But here are the green beans, which those are doing really well. I replanted them like five or six times. <laughs> And I think they were just not coming up as soon as I wanted. And yeah, so we're going to have a ton of green beans, which is fine. And I will pull them out and get another round in before the end of the year and switch back and forth and things. I actually want to show you guys these cucamelons over here too. Um, Mexican sour gherkins, cucamelons, things like that. I believe those were the Kentucky Pole. Kentucky Wonder pole beans and there are still more things that I need to plant in order to get the full amount of what I want to get planted. I've waited, well not intentionally waited, but I was trying to find a few things and I finally found what I was looking for and yeah, so video on that coming very shortly. Here is a few more zinnias. These are the cucamelons. <laughs> I'm really happy about these. These didn't come up at first, and I was about to re-sow them, but they have come up. There's one, there's two. These are some weeds that I can pull out, but this is not cleaning up a garden right now. So, cucamelons, and then there's a few down there. I think that's one, that's one, and there's another one down there. So, we'll be getting cucamelons this year. I'm so happy because last year they didn't grow right, and this year they're already looking better than last year. I just need to keep the chickens out of my garden because they keep getting out. Uh, nothing, they've messed up a few tomato plants, yes. But nothing's been like fully destroyed to where I can't replant. I have more seeds for what they destroyed. I need to keep them in and then I'll plant them again. So that'll be fine. But more importantly, more garden. Uh, these are cucumbers. I believe these are the straight eights. I planted a few. This is the biggest one. They're actually doing really well. These are some weeds, but it's not a garden clean out, but these are doing really well. This is the biggest plant and I should, we should be getting some flowers soon, I'm thinking. Not entirely sure on that, but we will keep everyone updated as to when that happens. <laughs> these tomatoes, I need to prune and I need to trellis. So this video is going up this weekend. I'm filming this on Monday, so this is going up on Saturday. Um, but what I'm probably gonna end up doing is filming a video for my channel or on this channel, whichever one, we'll figure that out. And showing you guys how to prune or how I like to prune. And I do think that it improves yield. Um, but that's up for debate, <laughs> obviously. But they need to be pruned and they need to actually be trained to this trellis. So they are a little over, all over the place. That will be fixed in the next video. And we'll make a video on that, obviously. So we do have some empty spaces right here. I need to go in and I need to plant more tomatoes here. I need to plant more there. And over there, I need to plant some more. But these guys are doing really well. <laughs> these are the ones that I transplanted out. So we'll be doing a video soon on how I prune, like I just said. And yeah, these need to be pruned quite heavily. The varieties, something tore out my labels. Sorry, y'all, they are being really loud. I actually have a label down here. This is the, I'm trying to read it off the thing and I can't, um, the Midnight Snack. So these are going to be purple. I knew that. These are going to be a purple. Everything on this side is going to be a purple tomato, which are just this one half of the trellis, which I'm happy about. Over here, uh, Sun Gold. And if I have more Sun Gold tomatoes, cherry tomatoes, and then if I have more seeds and I'm going to go ahead and just plant all of this with Sun Gold. Uh, we had yellow pear here. We have one. The other one, I, uh, the chickens get into my garden and annoy the crap out of me. So, it's been a work in progress. But this is one plant. Roma over there, and then I have 
best boy over there, which they're all doing incredibly well. I'm actually not pruning the best boy because it is in, it is a determinate type tomato. You check with the Romas, but everything else is going to be pruned quite heavily to where it's looking almost naked. So yeah, be on the lookout for that video, obviously. And I will, ex we will explain all of that. We do have some fruit if I can find it. These are the yellow pears, and they're actually coming in really, really well. Um, I'm expecting tomatoes before the before Fourth of July, or at least close as to that as I can get. So yeah, maybe I enjoy transplanting tomatoes out now. It was a uh, hit or miss with me because of the way I prefer direct sowing because they don't have the transplant shock and the transplant shock scares me. It, it shouldn't scare me. I need to get used to it. I just haven't been used to it. So I need to learn and to grow in that aspect as well. But all of these things are doing so well and it's been perfect weather. At night it's been cooler, obviously. It's nighttime. And the days have been getting 70, 80, somewhere in there. And it's wonderful weather, y'all. Um, I need to get my peppers in the ground. I need to get some other things in the ground because of things. <laughs> it's just not getting late in the season, but it is getting late um, for me. And the things that take a little bit longer, I need to recheck dates. Like, I waited for my pumpkins because I want pumpkins on Halloween. And last year we had them, I think we had them September, the end of September, the beginning of uh, October when they were actually ready and then they started rotting. So I'm going to try to do it as close to Halloween as possible, like maybe within a week early and just try to get them that way. But all of this stuff is doing incredibly well. The sunflowers are mammoth Russian. I don't know if I mentioned that. Sorry, I'm crazy at times, but we will be doing more videos on how to plant different things. We've done videos like that in the past. Um, I'm pretty sure I cannot remember off the top of my head, but we will be doing more videos on how to plant peppers, how to transplant different things, how to propagate from tomato suckers and more things like that, because why not? And it's things that I feel like everybody doesn't need to know, but I feel like it's good to know because you can propagate from tomato suckers. All of those tomato suckers that I'm going to prune off of my plant I can plant, I can stick each of those in a glass of water and then transplant them out, which is wonderful. So you can plant one plant and get 20 plants. If you have a longer growing season, it works better because it takes a little bit longer and you have to be able to get suckers and then you have to propagate those suckers for two weeks about, and then you have to be able to transplant them out, the transplant shock, and then let them grow. From that but it does get you a head start on that and in july you take out your garden completely or or take things out and replant them then you then that is a good backup for that for when you have that so you don't need to transplant tomatoes later on sorry i don't know where my mind was going with that but things like that transplant or using the tomato suckers to propagate works incredibly well uh planting more beans or having another space ready so you can plant more and then maybe just getting a larger harvest at the end of the year i don't know where i was going with that but hopefully you guys got that um but we'll be doing videos on all of that plant health things like that different things to use in your garden like um we've talked about this before on the podcast and i'm pretty sure i've said it in a garden video before we are all natural we don't me and reagan both we don't spray anything in our gardens we don't use fertilizers or things like that the only fertilizer we use is what compost we get and what's mixed in with it and it's mushroom compost really good i was told that there's some horse manure in there that i don't quote me on that but i mean you can quote me on it but don't like i'm not entirely sure <laughs> on that but that's all the fertilizer they get all completely natural they're growing if they die they die you plant more it's just what you do that's what i'm doing and it works fairly well 
So it has been, uh, there's not really, I don't have anything else. It's fairly easy right now. We don't have harvest videos, but we will be having harvest videos soon. Obviously we're gonna be having those. We're gonna show you guys how to harvest things. We're gonna be doing taste testing videos and so many different things. So stay tuned and if you like our content and you want to stay up to date with it, subscribe and like the channel. It really does help us out in the long run. And now also, and if you know anybody who would potentially like this content, share it with them and maybe we can get more people on here and get more questions answered and start growing the community a little bit better. We're, we're decent right now, but we can start growing the community, get more people involved and do things that continue doing what we love and also bring in the other aspect of people who've been gardening for 30 plus years or people who've been gardening for 50 plus years, things like that, that you, you really only get with building a community and reaching more people. But we can start growing together and really um, just show everybody that you can change the world with farming. And yeah, that's, that's our message that we wanted to share. But thank you guys for tuning in for another episode of the From the Farmyard vlog series. And we will see you guys next week for a podcast video. So thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.